today is a special day because I'm doing a craft inspired by one of my favorite things in the world, gummy bears. I'll eat those later. This is one of those weird, slightly impractical crafts, but like, aren't those the best? I haven't seen anyone else do this. There might be a reason for that, but I hope you guys enjoy it. <clears throat> Let's get started. Okay, so first you will need a bowl. Don't drop it. Some parchment paper, silicone gummy bear molds. They have tons of these on Amazon, or you can make your own if you've got skills. Spray paint, the kind that likes plastic. You can use nail polish as a substitute. A hot glue gun, and a lot of hot glue. Not quite this much, but I did kill this entire five foot roll of hot glue, plus half of one of those bags. And the adventure begins. I'm gonna start filling my mold with hot glue, and I feel like this is kinda satisfying to watch. Just me? I'm making sure to stick the nozzle down into the mold so that all the little details come out and you don't end up with a limbless, faceless bear because that would be kind of sad. This was really fun in the beginning, but I will admit it got a little boring after doing it 330 times. And I do mean literally 330 times. The glue should be dry pretty quickly and then it's time to pop these guys or girls, their gender is not really clear, out of the molds. Just popping them out, watching them come into the world. It sounds like I'm talking about giving birth. It is a beautiful thing. I definitely didn't end up needing this many, but I wanted to make plenty of extras in case I made any mistakes. Stay tuned till the end of the video to see what I made with the extras. And now it's time to add a little color. You're gonna get painted. Like I said, you can use nail polish instead if you have the patience to paint them individually, but spray paint is definitely faster if you have a safe area where you can do it. I ended up using five different colors. I know blue is not a traditional gummy bear color, but I couldn't resist sneaking it in there. Here they are once they were completely dry, and they remind me a lot of Legos. Not each and every one is completely perfect. There may be a smudge here or some paint missing here, but you know, this is mass production folks. Okay, it's bowl time. I covered my bowl with parchment paper to protect it from the hot glue, which I don't really know if that's necessary. Does hot glue peel off of glass really easily? I really don't know. Step one is to place the bears in a circle. Ring around the bowl, then hot glue them in place. And then fill the circle with more bears. I just kind of had to cram them in there however they would fit, and of course then secure them with hot glue. There was no way to get them in there perfectly without any gaps, but it's fine. It's just the bottom, so it's okay if it doesn't win a beauty contest. Now I'm adding a blob of hot glue to the back of the head and gluing it like this, and continue that all the way around. For the remainder of the bowl, I'm gluing the side of the bear and sticking them on like that all the way around in random order because I thought that that would look better. I did have to decapitate some of them to make them fit in that final spot. Brutal, but necessary. And I just continued until I got my bowl at the height that I wanted. And dun da da dun, the big reveal. It was a bit fragile, so I went in the inside and reinforced some of the joints with more hot glue, which made the inside slightly uglier, but you know, it's what's on the outside that counts, right? That's a great message. And here's the final bowl. You know, it's not the most practical bowl ever. You won't see me eating my chicken noodle soup out of it, and I have a feeling it's not dishwasher safe. But for me, it was worth it because it makes a pretty unique and interesting decoration and it was really fun to put together. I put it on my shelf with my giant gummy worm. They are good friends now, which I think is appropriate. This bowl took about 200 bears to complete, which left me with about 130 extras, including this pile of rejects that I had to throw away. With the rest of the extras, I made some keychains by heating up a needle and stabbing the bear in the head with it. Hot needle in the head, hmm, cozy. And then sticking an eye pin in the hole and attaching a little cell phone strap. I made pins by just gluing a pin on the back. And you know, if you like this craft, but you want something more reasonable and quick to do, you can just make these instead of putting together the whole bowl. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this craft. Have a good weekend, and I will see you guys on Monday.